841 this morning. Today is National Wear Red Day and February is American Heart Month. The American Heart Association's theme this month is Be the Beat. It's a challenge for at least one person in every home to learn hands-on only CPR. And joining me this morning with more is Tim Harms, who is the closest with to, to me, the American Heart Association, and Jim England, a cardiac arrest survivor. Gentlemen, good morning to the both of you. Appreciate morning. you going on. Morning. Jim, I can't wait for folks to hear your story. Tim, hands-on CPR, not a lot of people know how to do it. It's so important to know how. It is very important to, to know how to do it. There's about 350,000 instances of cardiac arrest every year and about 70% of those occur in the home. So we wanna encourage people. We, our challenge, as you mentioned, is for one person in every household to learn hands-only CPR because most likely the life you're gonna be called on to save is someone you love. Yeah, and Jim, your story is you suffered cardiac arrest leaving a football game. Um, yes, we had um, basically jogged across campus and got into the parking garage. I felt fine and all of a sudden as we were like just writing I made a comment about the traffic and the next thing I knew it was um, it was that was about 11:40 p.m. on a Saturday night and the next thing I knew it was 8:30 Sunday morning and just a bystander happened to be there and performed CPR yes um, the guy who was driving the car got me out of the car there was, he basically stopped in the intersection and the police officer told him to pull over and my friend got me out of the car and a bystander came by and said this guy needs CPR and started working on me and apparently that happened about two minutes after the onset of the event and the police officer took over but the paramedics managed to get there in less than five minutes right so I was really lucky from that standpoint. Yeah, and what's interesting about your story is that you told me just months before you had a physical and everything was just incredibly clear. Um, well, as I said, resting pulse of 58, blood pressure 110 over 70, total cholesterol 170, and nothing on my EKG to indicate that this was going to happen. Right. Um, and I had no symptoms that day, no yeah. sign of anything. I felt fine, and then next, next thing I knew, apparently I just slumped over in the car, and everything else I, after that I can only tell you because other people told me what happened. You're a big advocate for people learning CPR. Um, Actually, afterwards, uh, my wife and I started having parties at our house and brought in an instructor and taught all of our friends, got everybody certified in okay. CPR. And we're looking at your family here, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was one of my daughter's weddings. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Tim, hands on CPR. I mean, kind of explain the process of that. Yeah, there's two steps to it. The first is call 911, and as, as Jim can attest, you know, when you get the professional rescuers there within five minutes or as fast as they can get there, that's going to be the best thing that can happen. Um, and then it's press hard and fast in the center of the chest. Our theme this month is Be the Beat because mm -hmm. we tie that to music. You want to press uh, hard and fast means about 100 to 120 beats per minute. So if you can keep a song in your head to, with that uh, rhythm, um, that'll help you kind of do those compressions at the right rhythm. And the BG staying alive is a good one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. BG staying alive. Remember a lot. that as well. Folks want to get more information on how to learn how to do that. Yeah. Or should they? We've go? got a great one-minute training video at heart.org slash hands only CPR. All right, Tim. Thank you for coming on, Jim. Thank you, and you thank you for sharing your story. Really do appreciate it. We're red today with pride. For Glad sure. to be here to do it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. If you would like to learn more about hands-only CPR on National Wear Red Day, just visit our website, fox59.com slash links. At 845 right now, let's send it over to Jim. What an incredible story, Jim. Yeah, it certainly is. Thank you, gentlemen. 8